This award-winning ICF installation is provided by Shellcraft. Day and a half after the pour, this is Trinity United Methodist Church in Arlington. 200 yard pour, mixture of 8 inch and 6 inch. There's the other half of the building over there. The center walls go up 55 feet, starting on them today. It's a very impressive accomplishment for nine weeks. We've managed to stay ahead of the steel. I'm Pat Callahan, I'm the structural engineer of record for the Trinity Methodist uh, project and uh, was here today to talk about ICF and what uh, advantages there are to ICF uh, from a structural engineering standpoint. We've used ICF for 10 years on eight, nine projects and we have never really seen any issues with the system. We've worked to create the details that we need and they've been smooth and worked well. It's a, an engineer's dream to have all the exterior walls that can act like shear walls. Okay, so you have an incredibly inherent lateral load resisting system uh, and it's just part of the exterior wall. We can reduce or eliminate the number of vertical braces that we have in the building to take, take out the lateral loads. In fact, on the Trinity project, I think we only had one vertical brace. In case you're wondering about the verticals, they are one foot below this, this level. This section goes up another 16 feet or so. We'll pour about to walk board height to get the required overlap in the verticals. Here comes the concrete again. James Sanders with Shellcraft. There's the pump operator on the other scaffold. There's a star, a star ICF right there. Normally we don't brace the corners, but this is a six inch to eight inch transition at the corner. about a 200 yard pour. We like the modular aspect of the wall. We can do taller walls in say eight inches. We can do shorter walls in six inches. But probably the most advantageous thing about the ICF system is its moldability. Um, particularly when you're doing something that's more architecturally design oriented, there's gonna be a lot of uh, articulation in the exterior wall. Uh, for instance, uh, on Scott's project, we have buttresses, we have arches, we have vestibules that come out. Um, we have all kinds of features uh, that are architectural primarily. But if we had to do that with steel, it would be very awkward and probably more expensive. Certainly a lot more detailing and complicating as far as the project's concerned. Uh, we like the fact that we can use the ICF as a long span beam to create large openings. Uh, they would need to be shored, but with the concrete section, uh, you know, we can really let's just use it as a concrete thing.
Nice work. 37-foot limit. Trinity was a good job. Um, interesting, not boring at all. Arches, gables, big spans, pilasters, tall walls, um, heavy steel tying into our walls. It, it, it was interesting, fun job. Uh, the tall walls were, it was scary, but I mean, everything was secure and it went smoothly, I believe. I like the eight foot block. Um, allows you to put up 12 square feet at a time, which I believe saves labor. We're on that about 12 weeks of actual construction time. We're on time ahead of schedule. Um, we, we're waiting on steel instead of steel waiting on us, so I like it. Architects came by, general contractors came by, just people off the street even came by. We're doing a five-story hotel right now, Spring Hill uh, Suites by Marriott, and I'm sure some, somehow down the road uh, the Trinity Project have lead to this one. Trinity went very well. It was uh, completed on schedule. It was a 15-month project, um, and it was a product that the owner wanted to use in the in the very beginning in, in schematic. And we followed it all the way through all stages of pre-construction and went to construction documents with it. We've completed five Nudura projects, all involving ICF and the exterior wall assembly. We find it to be a very valuable product, easy to use, easy to install, has a lot of great qualities as far as the energy code continues to develop and owners are becoming more aware of conserving energy and going to that zero carbon footprint. FPI builders would welcome the opportunity to be involved in uh, future projects uh, utilizing Nudura. We've worked uh some projects with some very tall walls, and we integrated uh, pilasters with the ICF, and uh, that worked out well. Uh, it does provide a hardened exterior wall, and could be designed, the building could be designed as a hardened structure, or some portion of it could be designed as a hardened structure, uh, with the addition of a concrete roof over the part that you want to make into a shelter. So, you know, we love concrete. <laughs> Structural engineers love concrete, and this allows us to use concrete in a very creative way. So. Hi, my name is Scott Marksoff, the architect with Trinity United Methodist Church. We were very attracted to the ICF system, not only because it's concrete and walking through a concrete building feels different than a steel and stud building, but the cost effectiveness of the system is what really drove us to try and incorporate it to the building. When we studied the comparative analysis between the two types of buildings, concrete ICF versus a traditional steel and stud, we actually found that the type of design that we were building for our building actually made more sense and more cost effective with the ICF. In other words, we were able to take advantage of the foam system on the outside as our backup for the finished system, and that's what pushed it over the edge, allowing us to be cost effective on the project. We had a, sort of a modular type design with massing, masses that were appropriate for concrete seemed to make sense for us, and uh, we're very pleased with the how it turned out and the uh, incorporating the ICF system into the building.